Hi there! Welcome to my video. Today's adventure takes us with Air Canada's business class on a journey from San Francisco to South Korea with a layover in Vancouver. The journey begins with a maple leaf lounge at the airport. As I skip my boarding pass, the gate opens automatically and inviting me into the comfort. I take Boeing 737 MAX 8 to Vancouver for a 2 and a half hour and Boeing 7879 to Incheon for 12 hours. Although they call it business class maybe due to the short flight, this looks like the first class domestic flight. One difference is they offer meal rather than snacks. Earphone is located at the seat. Touch screen monitor has a good number of movies and shows. As you expected, you could lean back a little bit and control the leg support. As we soar above the bay area, a warm towel is offered. The meal comes with omelette, sausage, hash brown, fruit, and yogurt. Maybe it was a good meal, but I was just not hungry since I already had a breakfast at the airport lounge. Here is the Vancouver from the sky landing towards the airport. The Vancouver International Airport is called YVR. Once I get off the airplane and walk along following the arrow inside the airport, this is what I see which is the international terminal. After going through the security checkpoint, I could join this nice terminal. There are seating areas, creek, aquarium, duty-free shops, and restaurants on both sides. The Maple Leaf Lounge at the terminal is not easy to find. After asking a few people for the direction, here I am. My boarding pass says invitation signature which grants me access to the exclusive signature suite. Escorted to a different floor, I'm greeted by the staff. Here are how it looks like. Every staff member was super kind. I was seated promptly and given a menu. Since I already had two breakfasts, this time I decided to skip. The restroom added a little bit of luxury with towels. Other than menu, you could grab food like a buffet style from here. It seems there's no time limit per guest. I enjoyed my whole 3 hour layover here until the boarding time. I was assigned with zone 1 on the right hand side where no one is there. Straight from the signature suite, I right away walked through it without waiting. My seat number is 5k which is located on the right hand side. Wherever I fly, I choose the north side so that I get less sunlight. I'm not sure if it makes a huge difference. This is exactly how it is arrayed at the first sight, and there is a pair of slippers on top. There is a headphone I used for watching movies. Flight attendant eventually collect them back before landing. I simply start with a glass of champagne. Let's browse the menu. I like their champagne collection, Laurent Perrier Champagne. It also comes with white wine, red wine, spirits, liquors, and beers. Here comes with dinner menu. Now I decided what to get for the meal. I feel finally settled. The seat is spacious and comfortable. There are many buttons to operate the seat and other features. I validated and confirmed all of the buttons functional. Soon after playing around, drink and snacks are served. I got another glass of champagne. There will be three course meal, appetizer, main meal, and dessert. The appetizer was so tasty with the slices of duck. For the main meal, I chose beef rig which was tender and satisfying. Then finish the meal with cheese, crackers, and fruit. There is an interesting massage feature. Once I activate it, feel the massaging from the lumbar. Let's check out what they have inside the pouch. There are dental kit, socks, sleep mask, glass cleaner, apparel earplug. Inside the paper box, a lip balm and hand lotion which are useful in the dry air of long haul flights. You could control shades of the window through the button on the control panel. I could totally make it dark. It comes with a bed sheet, a comforter, and a pillow. When I wake up, it is getting close to Incheon International Airport in South Korea. There is a latch under the table to pull or push. Getting ready for the next meal. The first round comes with oatmeal, fruit, bread, and coffee. For the second round, I chose kimchi fried rice and I do not recommend it to anyone. Shortly after finishing the meal, I see we are in the sky of South Korea and we are preparing for landing. The Incheon airport is located on the island, so I see the long bridge connecting between the airport and the peninsula. I booked Air Canada's business class round trip, so the other half of the video is showing the journey completely backward coming from South Korea. 
After having a good time in Korea, it's time to head back to the United States. Stepping into Incheon International Airport, there is no Maple Leaf Lounge. Instead, the airline offers the Asiana Lounge. While the single cubes providing privacy are all occupied, there is still an abundance of open seating and tables to settle into. Inside the lounge, a variety of foods from comforting cup noodles to dessert, with a selection of coffee, beverages, and even alcoholic drinks. Making my way from the lounge to the terminal, I see Bleach Crank and Ari with Hanbok. This time, my seat assignment is 3A, an upgrade from my previous 5K. The difference, 3A comes with two windows instead of one that I had in 5K. So this current seat offers more expensive view. As I settle into my seat, I see the familiar amenities, an amenity pouch, headphone, and a bottle of water, a pair of slippers, a bed sheet, a comforter, and a pillow. A spacious compartment stores my essentials from cell phone to passport with charging ports available for convenience. This is a full view of the cabin once I sit with armrests on both sides. The drink menu mirrors that of the previous flight, while dinner offers a choice of beef tenderloin, fish, or Korean garbage This is a full flight with every seat in business class is occupied. We pull back from the gate, taxi towards the runway, and finally take off. The night view from the sky is always mesmerizing. Shortly after takeoff, warm towels are handed out, signaling the start of our meal service. It begins with nuts and beverages, followed by an appetizer featuring smoked duck breast and salad. For my main course, I get the beef tenderloin accompanied by potato gratin. Let's check out the amenity pouch. It comes with socks, a sleep mask, an earplug, glass cleaner, lip balm, hand lotion, and a dental kit. After the meal, the cabin dims as passengers settle in for some rest. A flight attendant notices I'm still awake and kindly offers me a snack, a chicken burrito that hits the spot. As we near Canadian airspace, the second meal service commences. The first round includes oatmeal, a croissant, and fresh fruit, while the second round offers two breakfast options. I go for the kimchi fried rice again, drawn in by bulgogi, though I don't recommend it. Back at the Maple Leaf Lounge in Vancouver, I discover they offer shower facilities. After booking a shower at the front desk, I'm escorted to a shower room equipped with all the essentials, like shampoo and body wash. Additionally, they have shaving kit and dental kit. Here is a quick glimpse of the lounge. My last journey is from Vancouver to San Francisco, which is a two and a half hour flight in business class. Despite it's a short flight, maybe it's still an international flight, a meal is served with a dessert. One unexpected twist occurs when I discover my suitcase has been severely damaged. Thankfully, Air Canada properly addresses the issue and provides the reimbursement. Safe travels everyone! Bye!